Hello again, everybody. This is Paul Warren, and you're watching Bermondsey Daily Message. Beautiful words from the beautiful book. Well, I don't know how you're feeling now. It's the third lockdown that we're having to undergo at the moment. We all know that it's for a good purpose and it's to keep everybody safe. But it is particularly hard, I think, as we've been having to struggle with this kind of thing on and off for very nearly a year now. And I think it makes it even harder when uh, we're in January and February. January and February are always difficult months anyway. It's a bit flat following on from Christmas. It's dark when you get up. It gets dark at about 4.30 in the afternoon. It's often cold and wet, and we've seen a bit of that over the last few days. A little bit brighter today, thankfully, but actually it's been quite a dreary, dreary time. And uh, it always is a bit like that in January and February anyway. But coupled with this new lockdown that we're all having to undergo, it makes it even harder than it usually would. Now, we do know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. We've got the vaccine being rolled out, and that is a really good thing. And many of our community, those in the over 80s bracket, have already had the vaccine. And it's going to be rolled out even more as the coming weeks go on and probably by about Easter. A vast proportion of uh, everybody would have actually had the vaccine and that's going to be a really good thing. Uh, the Prime Minister calls it a game changer and we're really encouraged by that. But that doesn't actually help us if we're feeling a little bit low, a little bit downtrodden, a little bit fed up with all that's going on. What we need is a bit of a lift. We need a lift to brighten our hearts, to brighten our spirits, to make us feel a little bit better. And if that vaccine hope isn't doing that for you, I can fully understand that. We're isolated. We can't go out and do the things that we'd like to do. We can't have friends around. We can't just pop to the shops in the way that we might usually do. We can't hop on a bus without being fearful. Whenever we go anywhere, we've got to wear a mask and all those kind of things. They don't help, do they, at all? They really don't help, even though we know it is for the greater good of everybody. But we do need that bit of a lift. And uh, where do we go when we want that lift? Where do we find it? How do we find it? What is our hope? Where do we place our hope? Well, I'm going to read us a verse from the Bible in just a moment. It comes from the book of Isaiah. It's written in the, the sort of second part of the book of Isaiah, where he's actually trying to encourage those people that have been captives, that have been taken away as captive. Now, we're not captive. We're not quite in desperate situations like they were, but we are in some way restricted and we can't do the things we'd like to do. And so I think that uh, this uh, little bit of encouragement that comes from God's word today might be just right for each and every one of us if we're feeling a little bit low and maybe a little bit jaded by all that's going on. And even though there is that hope, it may be still some way off. So here we go. This is what I'm going to read to you. It's Isaiah chapter 41 and it's verse 10, just verse 10. And it says this, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So Isaiah is prophesying. He's prophesying what God is going to do. And he says that we do not need to be afraid. He says that he is with us. God is with us. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. He tells us not to be dismayed by things, for God is our God. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. And what will God do? Well, he says that he will strengthen you and help you. He will uphold you with his righteous right hand. And if God says that he's going to do that, then we can trust him that he will. Things may be hard. Things may be tough. The light at the end of the tunnel may be very small, but God is is there for each and every one of us. He is our God. He is with us. He will uphold us and will strengthen us. And so we do not need to be afraid. We do not need to be dismayed because we know that he is working with us and for us in all things. 
and he will uphold us and strengthen us in all that we need. And that is something to be really thankful for. So let's pray now a prayer of thanks. We thank you God for the words that Isaiah prophesied there in uh, chapter 41. And help us Lord to hear those words and to take them to heart. To trust you Lord in all things, even though we might be finding things hard and difficult. Help us Lord we pray. Fulfill your promise Lord to uphold us and to uh, strengthen us at this time of difficulty. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So you've been watching Bermondsey Daily Message, beautiful words from the beautiful book. Do join us again for another message on Wednesday. Goodbye.